Who's looking forward to today? Me! I want you to go out and have fun, play hard, tackle hard, and support each other. Like the coach said, tackle hard, use your shoulders, George. Tackle, tackle, tackle! Oh, why won't they tackle? Get stuck in! No Levi! That's the way, Levi's! Offside, open your other eye, Red! Penalty blue, white player. How can he roll away when people won't get off him? you? Hey, mate! Calm down, eh? It's only a game. What up, what up, hello, good morning, welcome to Small Blacks TV. We've got an amazing show for you today, and it all starts with our awesome guest, Black Fern 7 star, Ruby Tui. What is up? Hey Noah, how are you going? I'm well, I'm well. And yourself, how are you? Yeah, brilliant. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. So Ruby, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I play Rugby Sevens. It's an amazing game. Um, and I was born actually in Wellington, and now I live up in Tauranga. What do you love about Sevens? I love a lot of things. Um, I love playing the game, but a huge highlight definitely has to be the travel. We go to places like Dubai, Japan, America, just to name a few, so that's awesome. You've missed out one country, Brazil. You obviously went to the Olympics. How was that? Yeah, Rio 2016 was amazing, and it's created a huge growth in the country for women's Sevens. I think young boys and girls can play rugby and go to the Olympics today, so it's awesome. And you brought back a little bit of bling that you've brought here today. Show us what you got. So um, our team trained really hard for four years and came home with a silver medal, so I'm really grateful for that. Hey Ruby, so let's just do a bit of a reenactment, eh? But it said it's me winning the silver medal. Okay, so, and the silver medal for being the most awesome person in the world goes to Norfi now. Congratulations. Did amazing. Thank you. Holy moly, it's, it's quite heavy. It's got a few ruck marks on it too. Have you been playing rugby with yeah, it? Yeah, we had a few training drills and we all were wearing them. How has your life changed with this? Can you get like free pies at the bakery or something? <laughs> uh, when I first started playing sevens, it was a part-time thing. You had to have a job as well or study. And now it's completely full-time. We get um, amazing things like free travel, business class, um, free clothes, and an amazing um, memory of the games. Speaking of the games, did you do much kicking while you were over there? Oh, I probably could have done a bit more, to be honest. Do you have any tips? I don't have tips, but two people that have got awesome tips, Kendra and Bodie, they're up now with Masterclass. Hey, I'm Bowden Barrett, All Blacks first five and kicker. Hi, I'm Kendra Cockshedge, Blackburn's halfback and kicker. We've assembled some of the best small blacks kickers in town. And it's time for today's Kicking Masterclass. All right, guys, today's skill is a drop kick for goal. Drop kicking for goal can win you a game. So, has anyone got any key points? Drop the ball onto the point instead of throwing it. Yeah, so we want to hold the ball with the point downwards so that when we drop it, it drops nice on the end there. Good work. Anyone else? Swing your leg through the ball. Yeah, so we want to swing our leg through the ball so we get a nice follow through. All right, Bodie, how often do you take a drop kick at goal? Not very often, occasionally, but they can be very important, so it's always good to do your practice because you never know when you need it. OK, guys, here we go. All in, all in. Nice and tight. All right, guys, let's give 110% out there. We train like we play, OK, boys? So let's go kick it on three. One, two, three. Two go! So drop, kick it, goal. Three key points is uh, our hand position, drop, and follow through. We're holding it in two hands. Before you drop it, you want it releasing out of your right hand. And most importantly is the drop, okay? So you want it landing on the point of the ball so it bounces straight up as Kendra's doing it. As Soon as the ball hits the ground, you want to be winding up and following through towards the post. Not bad. Really good hands and follow through. Just see how the drop, the ball came out like that. If you can get it to bounce straight up and down, that'll be perfect. Much nice. better drop. Nice. Really good. Great drop. Oh, there nice. we go. Nice. That's that coaching, eh? <laughs> Now it's time for how many 
many can you do? We're going to do some grubber kicks. So we're going to pair off, and you're going to grab a kick to each other, see how many you can do in 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. Give me some rough bounces here. How'd you go? 13? 13. 14? Nine. Nine. Okay. I think we've got about 25, don't we? 25, but hey, it's a start. Plenty to work on. Okay, Ruby, we'll send the small blacks to it. Let's have our own little target to hit. Best out of 10. Ladies first, get set, go. No pressure now. That's two that you've missed. I was just letting you know. Oh, there you go. Ruby, I thought you used the to The girls will be netball. watching and they know that I don't play this. Two out of seven. Last shot for the win. <laughs> Ooh. Ruby. Well, better luck next time, eh? Thanks, Noah. I would wish you luck, but I want to win. So all the best. Ruby, remind me how many I've got to get. To get a total of only three, and you've got the Grand Slam. One, nice. Money. Ooh. With the feet away. Ooh. One oh. out of four. I'm throwing it too hard. Oh, it was close. Ooh. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, last one. Last one for the win. For sure. Ooh. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Speak. And slam, slam dunk. dunk. Slam dunk. Yeah. Yeah. Inside with Tubic, who started it, is going to finish it. Gets the second try for County's Manicow. Oh, I started when I was probably about 10 years old. Um, me and a couple of our other friends at primary school, we used to go play netball in the mornings, and then we'd see the boys playing out on the field next to us, and uh, they were missing a few players, so they asked if we want to go jump on, and we went and played, and I carried on, loved it, but the other two kind of <laughs> wasn't for them. Hazel Tubic gets the conversion. First, my mum didn't really want me to play, because, you know, contact, but then now she's, like, the one that's go, <laughs> you know? If I'd said I was going to quit, she'd be like, no, you can't. <laughs> I think that it like incorporates a lot of skills. Um, you've got other sports that maybe just be more about passing a ball and uh, or else you things like athletics where it's more your physical running and jumping. Whereas here you've got to be able to catch, pass, um, use a lot of vision, communication and stepping and yeah, it's a whole lot of different range of skills with your speed and strength. Lovely, stop and go. So I'm more of the like communicator organiser within our team here. So I just try to create space and get the ball out to our speed and power so that they can kind of finish it off. So more of the heart, do the hard yards in the middle kind of thing. So when I'm not playing rugby, I'm out on the farm, I'm helping out milking the cows, getting the cows up. Um, when I was calving, I was <laughs> feeding the calves. So yeah, pretty much what I'm getting up to when I'm not on the gym or on the field. Definitely like especially in our county team here, you know, we all like to have a little dance and a laugh, you know, because it that's more that's half of the thing with sport is that it's the culture and the girls around and the friends that you make and the times that you're having with each other that makes it more enjoyable. And playing on the field's just the other half of it that you get to experience. As with any sport, you make those friendships and have a lot of fun and come and hang out on a hot sunny day with your mates chucking the ball around. So I'd really, really encourage girls to take up the sport for that. I'm Hazel Tubig and I'm all in. What's up and welcome back to Small Blacks TV. I'm your boy Northy Now, And our special guest, Ruby Tui. So Ruby, what were you like at school? Um, I guess teachers would describe me as like social, so I talked a lot, but I thought of it as trying to find opportunities to learn. Now, did you do your homework often or were you like a... One thing about me, I'm very competitive, so I just turned homework into another competition. If it was out of 100%, I'd come back and I'd try and hand it in first and I'd try and get a better percentage than everyone else. I wish my mate Lil Noor had that attitude because he just does the total opposite <laughs> and just hands us in last. Check him out now, St. McCall's Primary. This is St. McCall's Primary, a place where young minds are filled to overflowing with the fountain of knowledge. A sacred place to share ideas and pontificate 
on the wonders of the world. Hey, Mr. Sneep, you looking for the whiteboard marker? Right, class. For homework, I asked you to find five things that live in my garden. Now, let's see who wants to go first. Uh, no. Thanks for volunteering. Five things that live in your garden, please. Um, rubber ball. Car tire, socks, and um, dirt. You didn't do your homework, did you? Sorry, Mr. Sneed. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to think of that after school at detention. <sighs> Simon, what did you find? Found a worm, a spider, a potato, a fern, and a snail. Really? So brainy. All right, I know it's not exactly a garden, but it is grass. So what I want you to do is get down and pop yourself up on your elbow. All right? And I want you to tell me five things that you can see down here. Um, uh, grass. One. Dirt. No. Grass. You see that? Worms. Yes. Um, dirt. No. A weed. Yes. Leaves. Yes, so what have we learnt, Noah? Dirt's not an insect. No, it's that it's important to have a strong core for schoolwork and rugby. Now give me 20 sit-ups! Yes, I remember the school days full of learning, laughter and rugby. After school, my old mammy used to say it's either homework or housework. The funny thing was, she always had time to help me with everything. Hey guys, I'm with my good mate Rugger, and welcome to Numbers with Dane. Hey Dane, do you know what the number of the day is? No, I don't, Rugger. I'll give you a clue. Ta da! Uh. Oh, two. Yes! How'd you guess? Two eyes. Yep. Two teeth. Uh huh. I'm smart, eh? Yeah, huh? My favourite bird is named after number two. Do you know what it is? Uh... Tui? Yeah! You're smart! I had to think about that one. What position is number two in rugby? He is a hooker, like I am rugger. Ah, sounds important. Yeah, it's a, it's a good position to be in. Are you the most important person on the team, Dane? Nah, front rowers don't get looked after, buddy. No, oh, Dane? different words are there for two of something? Uh, second. Uh-huh. Pair. Oh. Yeah, that's about me, Rugger. Have you ever scored two tries in a game? Uh, I have, Rugger. Oh! Just once, though. Oh, tell me, please. It was one off a line-out, and we just drove over. Ah! The other one was just a uh, pick-and-go, and scored an easy try. Woo! So, yeah, easy tries. Oh, nice one. Thanks very much, Dane. So there it was, the number two. Hey, what's up? If you text this week's number and we draw it out, you could win a rugger pack. So text in the number to 4888 and be in to win. But remember, you've got to ask your parents first. Hey, Rubes, how's your te reo Māori? Um, I'm actually half Samoan, but our team is very good at Māori songs, so I try my best. Yeah, how many words do you know? Do you know any Māori words? Not including kia ora. Not including kia ora. Probably to co words. But well, you know who probably knows more than that many words? Oh, who? Is our small blacks and our mate Nehe. They're up now with Real Rugby. Hey guys, Nehe here with a few of my friends. Jane Lee, Brett Clan, Tito, Regan, Smeezy. Each week, we're going to add something to Tani that he'll need to play the game. And we're going to learn some Te Reo along the way. Okay. We already have our taro potu. Next, our small black tane will need a poraka. What do you think, team? Jersey. 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 Boom, spot on. Got a few here. Oh, let's try that. What do you think? Oh. No, not that one. Pink. What's pink and mouldy? Marfil. Alright, cool. Get rid of that one.
How about this one? Kakadiki, green. Nah, I don't like green. Last one. Think we've got a winner here. Hi. Hi. Poraka Pango. Black jersey. That one looks looks the best to me. Yeah. Hi. Poraka. Poraka, which is jersey. Today's word is really important. It's kuru. Who knows what kuru is? Pass. Pass. Yep, spot on. And why is it important to be able to pass properly? So you can pass it to your teammate? Yep, does it make it easy or harder? Easier. Easier. Spot on. All right, so you guys are going to have a go and practice the kuru. A good tip is to make sure that when you pass, you want your ringer, your hands to be pointing to the target that you want to pass it to. And if you're catching it, you want to make sure that your karu are watching the ball so you can always see the ball as it comes into your hands. Kapoi? Hi. All right, we're going to play a little kemu, a game. What we're going to do is we're going to be passing it to one another, but before we catch hopu, we have to clap before we uh, catch it, OK? If I go to it like that. But you clap and I haven't passed you, then you're out. Okay, let's get into it. All right. Oh, sorry, bro, you're out. Oh, nah, you're all right, good save. Yeah, see ya. You're out. Kakite, it's uh, <laughs> goodbye, nah, Moldy. Yeah. And then we rock off. What's that? Is it? Yes. Hey guys, if you want to win this ball to practice your own kicks, text kick to 4 triple eight. You'll go into the draw to win this ball signed by us. The winner will be announced on smallblacks.com. Good luck. My name is Nehe. My job is to beat players. One of the most valuable lessons I learned was it doesn't matter where you came from. All that matters is where you're going and how fast you can get there. I tell myself, I'm going to beat him. I'm better than he is. I'm faster, I'm stronger, and I'm well prepared. Don't take this personally. It's just that you're in my way. You're in my team's way. I'm going this way. You? Hey Ruby, so I can eat pretty much whatever I want. I'm fast guy, so I eat fast food a lot. It just melts right off me, as you can see. What about yourself? Yeah, so I have to be a little bit more educated about what I eat. So I look at food and I say, what's that going to do for me? So what about for small blacks? Because you've got a nutritionist and everything. What mm. kind of food should small blacks be eating? I would just say, you can eat what you like. I mean, if you train hard, it shouldn't matter too much when you're young still, but just have a think. If you want to be the best sports player in your team, you want to eat the best. So if they're all having Big Macs after the game, you might have a sandwich, and then you might perform better that next game. Are there any of the girls on the team that are not good at eating that? You're just always like, well, yo, you got chocolate here, what's... Yep, on tour sometimes even, we have a um, you know, blanket rule to eat good, and sometimes I come into the girls' room, I won't name names, and I can hear the rustling of packets, you know, m and Skittles, and... So yeah, there are a couple of girls who can get away with eating a lot of different things. Well, that's some great points there, Ruby. And next on our show, our rugby's learn a lesson or two, and I think you might recognise someone else. Hello and welcome to Small Blacks Rugby Smart. Today I'm going to be helping Rugger, William, Webb and Alice learn all about how to be safe and have fun playing their favourite game. But if there's one thing rugby's love as much as rugby, it's food. Yep. <laughs> Before a game, I like to eat spaghetti on toast with a big glass of fruit juice. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I like cereal with yoghurt and a glass of water. Mm, mm, yummy. <laughs> Before training, I eat sandwiches or buns with a big glass of milk. Yummy. I like to eat aeroplane lollies, snakes and a big chocolate milk. 
yum, that can't be good for you. Maybe you should try something healthy for a change. Yes, he should, Alice. But believe it or not, eating snake and aeroplane lollies after a game is a good way to replace lost energy. Mr. Reed, how many water drinks do you drink? Well, Webb, I drink a lot of water before and at training, during games, and breaks like half time. And you can call me Kieran. Oh, okay, Mr. Kieran. Oh, oh, what about energy drinks for us little rugbies? Water makes grass grow. And little rugbies, Webb. I think we'll leave the energy drinks to the grown ups. Water's all we need. Mm. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yummy, yummy. If you could talk to a 10 year old you, what would you say? Ah, uh, 10 year old me. Probably uh, make the most of um, all opportunities. Um, you know, you never know when you're going to get a crack, whether your teacher's given you an opportunity to go to a science fair or something. Listen to your parents, eat your veggies, do your homework, have heaps of fun with your mates. Don't get up to too much mischief. Stay away from Dane Coles, because he's a bad influence. Listen to my teachers. It's a tough question, but um, if I was going to give advice to myself when I was 10 years old, it'd probably just be enjoy the sport that I was doing, because when you're a kid and growing up as a small black, it's uh, some of the funnest rugby you ever play. Obviously, it's, it's great to represent the country, but there's a lot on the line, and when you're a kid, you're just out there enjoying it. Hey, Ruby, so Black Fern Sevens, you're all pretty tight. What do you call yourselves? Yeah, so um, we sometimes get called the Seven Sisters, so it's a pretty cool name. How did that come about? Well, if you can imagine, we're away from home a lot of time in the year. So away from our parents, away from our brothers, our sisters. So our team kind of becomes like our second family. Well, time flies when you're having fun, and that's us for another week, Small Blacks. But we'll catch you back here, same time, same place next week. Ruby, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, Noah. And remember, do it with me now, Ruby. OK, got you. Stay on side. That was a bit unco <laughs> <laughs> No, that was pretty Man, I never got it. I'll do it again, just quickly. And bang. Stay on side. Yeah, that was better, right? That was a better one. Can you do it? Yeah. Oh, this? So I just dropped it and went boom, okay. boom, bang. <laughs> and it's my favourite. <laughs> and hot. Nice work, Tommy.